know what the fuck happened to that live, y'all. I don't know what happened. Let me tell them to cut to my other live. Hold up. Let me tell them to come to my other live. Maybe it's a good thing that shit happened. I don't know why that shit turned off. Hey, hey Scarlett, oh hell no. <coughs> okay. Let me see if, because I don't know if people still in the room. Hold on. Hey y'all, I don't know what happened to the live. <coughs> I don't know what happened to the live, y'all. Let me see if the chat come up. Hold up. Hold on. I'm right in over there. I'm live again. Okay. Hold on. Hey, y'all. We back. We back. Okay, so we back. So let me just finish my, you know what I'm saying, my little rant. You know, I had went on a little rant for a minute. It's probably good that shit turned off. Because sometimes when I get the rain, y'all know I just say, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell your ass the motherfucking truth. Okay? And you're going to be mad, but it's, it's all for a good cause. All right? Because <laughs> I, I ain't got no reason to lie to you. <laughs> None at all. I be trying not to say shit to a bitch. Hold on. I know I don't know how to turn that shit off, though. Yeah, um, let me tell them. Hey, Lydia Matt. Go to my channel, y'all. Whoever's still in it, because I don't know when that shit going to turn off. Hey, Stephanie, what's going on, boo? Yes, we back, Detroit 313. But where was I at? I mean, it just, it just, you know, the more I sit here and I think about the situation, okay, you so upset with Ty and shit like that, like, you said, you, you, now, this is what you told the world, now, my, my, what I heard through the grapevine was a little bit different, okay, and since your ass ain't on the show no more, I can go ahead and talk about it because you don't start, hey, Leo, hey, boo, you don't started talking about it. Okay, but word on the curb is that you were released. You didn't walk away from a motherfucking thing about no money, girl. Because you didn't know your place. You didn't know your place and you gave that nice, nasty bullshit and people are not with it. So now let's roll to the floor. So now you mad at Ty. You can't keep Ty name out your mouth. You, you trying to low, low rate the lady every chance that you get. And I don't understand it. Now, what I don't understand is, hold on, y'all. What I don't understand is, if you if you telling people that you walked away and it's something that you're not interested in, why are you talking about the shit every motherfucking day in? What I don't understand, because if I, if I say I don't like something and I don't want to do something and I don't want to be bothered with you, I ain't going to be talking about your ass every motherfucking day. So for me, it just smells like envy for me. I'm sorry. It's the envy in the room for me, bitch. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is. You don't understand. You you can't fathom in your mind. How was is, how is this lady doing all of this shit? Ain't, ain't nobody, ain't no man helping her? She don't got no man helping her doing that, do that. How does she do that? You can't get it. So instead of you trying to get it, you hate it. And that's not cool. But see, ain't nobody else going to tell you. People glamorize certain things that really be trivial, to be honest. Really be trivial, to be honest. It really do. See, the things that she realized, a certain type of lady realized, you're not going to get that because you always looking for a handout. you always looking for a bitch to do something for you. You think it's supposed to come to you easy. Nobody's taking away from anything that you've already done, but that don't mean that you still don't have to work for what you get. 
And so you can't treat people fucked up and talk to people bad because you see that they are willing to do what they have to do to get shit done. The shit don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me, y'all. It don't. They still coming in this room. <laughs> they still coming in that room. I don't know. I don't know how to turn that shit off. It's just gonna have to stay. So yeah, I mean, this is just a little part two because I was abruptly, you know, cut off. I didn't get to tell you guys that I love you guys. I ain't gonna keep on repeating myself over and over again. I'm sure you guys, you know what I'm saying, got the gist of what I was trying to say about the situation in the first line. Hey, Independent Tisa 101. Right. I mean, you mad. Don't make me do this because it's like you you say that you the boss, bitch, and shit like that, but that's not what it's giving, girl. That's not what it's giving. A real boss bitch don't show up on the scene with no dude. Unless they in some type of relationship. Other than that, she's she's the head. She's the head bitch in charge. She walk in the room with her suitcase and her cell phone by her fucking self. If people with her, they work for her. That's not what it's giving, boo. That's not what it's giving. A little photo shoot every now and then. I mean, in comparison, if you if you're making us compare, you're making us compare her to you. That's what you're making me do because you keep talking about the lady. So now I'm the type of person, and I ain't no different from nobody else. We gonna say, okay, well, what did this what this person right here put out? What she put out? What she put out? Okay. Okay, make her line some clothes. Okay. Oh, she got a dude that back her. Oh, he pay, he be paying for her shit. Oh, he make sure she got A, B, and C. Oh, the cash app in his name. The cash app in his name. Oh, oh, the website got his name on it too. Your name ain't on that by yourself. Oh, he helped you get your trademark too. He made sure that was in order too. Oh, okay, okay, respect. Then we look at this lady over here. Oh, she did that by herself. Oh, she 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 took care of that right there. She flew them out. Oh, them cameras right there cost seventy five thousand dollars. How she did that right there? Oh, she got a whole crew. Oh, this lady go wherever the fuck she wanna go and don't stay in no motherfucking low class ass room when she go there. Oh, this she know this person. She know that person. She doing this. So you making it, it's just you making me compare the two, and I really just ain't wanna do that to you, girl. That's why the fuck I ain't said shit. But now you done did a lie. Trying to pick me up against my castmates, and I don't appreciate it. That nice, nasty fuck shit. That church girl type of shit. And you thought I won't go know. Is is what I don't understand. You thought I won't go know that, or or maybe you did think I would know and just didn't give a fuck. Either way, the shit is fucked up. Okay, hold on. So, hold up. <clears throat> Why don't I put, hold on. So, I, I mean, I can't, it's interesting to me because Heidi, her flip-flopping ass, but you went from having a fucking award show, you gave me the face award. You gave me the face award, I appreciated that shit. Now all of a sudden today, I, you know, I'm a broke bitch and I ain't got no money and I can't afford to do what the fuck I wants to do. That, that's two-faced to me, girl. That's real damn two-faced now, bitch. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for that two-faced ass motherfucking shit. Now, you done did a whole show now. Now, today, you hate everybody. Ain't everybody ain't shit. Ain't nobody shit. Ain't nobody shit. 
All the people that you said ain't shit look like to me they rocking and rolling. Giving you something to talk about. Giving you something to talk about. And you sitting over there talking about it. You sitting over there talking about it and, and, and getting a coin from it. But you say you hate everybody. Ain't nobody shit. But at the same time, them same motherfucking people, they good enough for you to conversate about on your shit and make a coin off of. It's really confusing, lady. It's confusing. I mean. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, that other live went, went off, y'all. <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lydia, your comment almost made me choke, girl. <laughs> I know, Lydia. <laughs> oh God! It, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's starting to um. That's you know I'm kind of happy a little bit. I hadn't really been watching a little bit because I had kind of forgot like the fuck shit that be going on. So now it's like I'm you know watching and I'm getting like reacclimated. I'm start I'm starting to think about all the shit that has happened in the past. And it's like the shit don't make no fucking sense. Bitch, pick a side, bitch. Pick a fucking side and stay there. Fuck. <laughs> Either you is or you ain't. Okay. Isn't didn't she wait? If memory serves me correctly, in that same video where she was giving out the awards, wasn't she sitting up there crying and apologizing? But that ain't nobody shit. Crying and apologizing. At that, isn't that at the same? If memory serves me right, at, at that same time, she was also saying that she was doing her own show, and people are talking to her behind the scenes, and she's doing deals and shit like that. And all of a sudden, we hear no more about it. Did, did y'all hear something about it? Did I hear? Because I'm subscribed to her channels, all of them. So <laughs> I see when she puts some shit up. So let me know if I'm wrong. Did y'all hear something? What network she on? What network she on? Is, is it an app? Is she on Zeus? What's going on? Y'all quiet out there. Ain't nobody said shit. I'm allergic to bullshit they be on. I'll be done if I eat another person when I get this in The Invisible Network. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Re Weasel's prayer. prayer. What is it? Prayer cloth. Thank you. That's exactly what it is. The Josh Network. We could take it over there. Uh, you know, we could we could even make it Josh's Invisible Network. How about that? Let's just add it all together. Let's just add it all together. Crickets, right? We had to come up with it on our own. Apparently, we could come up with something quicker than those two. Okay. So, um, there's just a difference when, now, 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 if I'm going to talk, the line that really, really shook me up, and I'm going to keep it real with you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, if I can't be honest with y'all, then who the fuck can I be honest with? You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Okay, travel with Khalifa. Come through, come through. Now, the line that struck me, I'm, you know, I'm a real bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what, what the gag is. She said that Fi is not a high-quality woman. She said she's not a high-quality woman. Fi is not a high-quality woman. And that she's going to do a show with somebody, some somebody, you know, about high-quality women. I was dumbfounded. First 
of all, it, you know, that whole statement is extremely judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Because if people looked at you like that, people can say that you're not a high quality woman because you showed your ass to somebody who put dollars in your G string. Some people will say that's low quality because you have pretty much mortgaged your morality. That's what they would say when they think of the situation. And, and you still have not, not let go of the character because you still like to dress and look a certain way. So we shall say, or we might say that he has stuck with you. You have not let go of that young girl that used to swing around the pole. Okay, I don't have a problem with strippers. I go to strip clubs. I'm here in the, in the place where the strip club be lit. Okay, I tip the strippers and I buy my motherfucking drinks. So I'm not one of those people who has that type of thought. But you better bet your bottom motherfucking dollar there are several millions, trillions of people that feel the same way on different continents and different locations. Okay? Now, Phi, on the other hand, has not stripped. Okay? If memory serves me correctly, Heidi, when we were in Atlanta, we talked about the fact that someone gave her, a gentleman gave her $50,000 and she didn't have to do shit for it. Now, in Atlanta, Five Bay was so great. She was so awesome. You loved her so much that you said she was worth at least $50,000, bitch. At least. At least $50,000. That's what you said to me when we were sitting on the stairs. Because I looked at you and I said, well, shit, people talking shit about it. But I don't think 50K is a bad number. And you looked me directly in my eye and you said, it ain't a bad number, bitch. But today, you said that she is of, of, of low quality. And bitch, I don't... That's that southern girl shade, bitch. You, you ain't go. I, I'm not going. I'm catching it all. I, come here, come here. Bring it over here, girl. Come here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So some people might venture to say that if we had to do another comparison, we had one lady that had to do a little more to get a dollar or two. We had the other lady over here that was just pretty much able to be cute and use their mouth and get 50K up out of bitch. And then have that said person come on the channel and say the same shit. You're making us do a comparison that we did we never wanted to do. We did not want to do that. We did not want to do that. We did not want to do no comparison because I don't really look at people like that. But when you press me and I put my mind on it, this is what you're going to get. Reality. I live in reality. I don't know what the fuck world you live in, but I'm extremely realistic about my life, about my situation, about, you know, the people that I fucks with, that I hang with when I have a conversation with you. I listen. So you, I would like to know, since we're going to talk about the shit, well, let's talk about it. How did she get from being it, it, it worth at least 50K? You said she was worth at least 50K. That's not a small number. What are you giving? Hmm? But today, <clears throat> it's of low quality. I, I just took umbrage, you guys. Y'all know that's my favorite word, one of my favorite words. Shout out to Miss D. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that's one of my favorite words. You know, I took umbrage to that statement because it's like you you looking down on another system, eh? You really are in... It's no, it's no reason for it. you looking down on someone that has served your country, and you telling the world that she, you know, is, is of low value. With meanwhile, we can look at you and say the same shit. Don't do that, girl. Don't do that, girl. 
It's a it's a lot that could be said. If we're gonna if we're gonna talk about value, we can break down a lot of shit. Value is not just monetary. Do you get into what I'm saying? Value is not just monetary. Am I wrong? Please tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. You better tell me if I'm wrong right now. I want to hear from you. Tell me if I'm wrong. When did value just become monetary? If that's how you think, your shit is fucked up. Your shit is fucked all the way up. You, you don't see value in anything or anybody. You will keep yourself from accomplishing all of your goals. Period, who? So, now I don't know, I, you know, I, I want to, it's sad to me, shit, I want to kind of give a sister the benefit of the doubt. I want to say it's just a care, it, it's just a role that she's playing, you know what I'm saying? I can get into it, I, I can dig it, but if you really feel that way, that's fucked up. That's real fucked up. And if somebody said that about you, I feel the same way. Like when they was talking about your makeup, bitch, I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta respect their opinions about your shit. So I stayed out of that. I, I don't like that type of shit between the sisters. But y'all hoes, whack as fuck, whack as fuck, whack as fuck. You gonna hang on your sister and go cozy up to them niggas, ain't it? Whack as fuck, bitch. Whack. Darren J, you better tell her. Devin J, is it Darren J? You better say it. You better know it. Somebody better, better make her ass know it. It's just, sir, I can understand, you know what I'm saying? You don't like her? You don't like her? Motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Get your reason. But certain shit is just like, I don't be understanding, like, why you saying that? You're not, it's not giving that. It's not giving that. I can see you saying some shit like that. Like if you had like a doctorate or like a master's degree or some shit like that, and then you tell them motherfuckers, oh, you I can see if you was, you know what I'm saying, getting it like that, or you had that type of shit behind you. Maybe I could understand why you would have that mentality. But no, mamas, you have already told us who you were. And based on what I'm hearing, there's no room for you to judge. Okay? <laughs> so Miss Matrice, <laughs> I just heard a video today that, you know, a couple of things go on in, in one of Heidi's videos that I just did not agree with. So I had to address the situation because if I don't address the situation, people are going to think, think that I don't see what the fuck they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And I very much am here for it and I very much do see it. Okay. I'm just letting you know when I come back, I am going to come back. And it's not going to be, it's just going to be factual. I don't care what you have to really say about me. I'm not insecure. If I was insecure, I would, I would not come on this bitch. I would not come on here. Y'all know most of the majority of the time when I get on bitch, I be on camera. Period. Flaws and all, bitch. So if I was really worried about what a bitch was going to say about me, I wouldn't even motherfucking jump on YouTube. And y'all already know what, what it gives. Y'all already know I got my suit of armor on anyway. So once I start speaking on you, I don't give a fuck no more. I don't. I don't. Because I'm a real bitch and I really feel like at the end of the day, bitch, what I said is final anyway. What I said is fucking final any motherfucking way. 
That's why I look past hoes like Deanna Urban. Bitch, what I said is fucking final, bitch. Period. It ain't gonna be no 4,000 videos of me going back and forth with your ass. Bitch, I'm moving on. Because that one time when I do speak about it, I'm gonna hit all, all the angles. I don't need to keep repeating my motherfucking stuff. I done covered everything that I wanted to cover. <laughs> what I said, what I said is final, period. <laughs> Just letting you know right now. Right. Because <laughs> you dead ass motherfucking wrong. Dead ass wrong. Dead ass fucking wrong. Now you know I ain't said shit to you, girl. Nothing. Never even said nothing bad about your ass. Still really ain't said shit bad about your ass. Look, Jay, Jay Weasel's prayer call, honey. I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know, boo. I don't know. I just thought that was some fucking. I had to break, shed light on that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to point out how a motherfucker think, too. I love that. I love that. I love to sit back and, and just. You know, listen to what a bitch gotta say because you gonna tell me just just how you think about shit and just how you feel about life. I'm not insecure about shit. I don't give a fuck. You can't make me feel bad about nothing, bitch. No, only I can walk in these shoes, bitch. And I walk in a well, bitch, and I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Okay. Only got one life to live. So, look. All right. So, I did 30 minutes this round. I'm going to go, y'all, because I don't want to keep on talking about it. Like I said, my word is final on that shit. I don't give a fuck about nothing else or whatever. Um, That's on period poo. Um, I just don't give a fuck about it, like. Fuck that shit. You dead ass motherfucking wrong. I had to let you know. Or whatever. Um, and that's just it. That's just it. That's period point blank. Okay. So I love you guys. And I will be back later. Bye.